Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. How's it going? Hope you're doing really well. Time for another first impression. Today, it's Isi Miyake, low DC pour ohm, Owen Cedar. How would that be pronounced? Owen Cedra, something like that. Owen Cedra, what, whatever. Owen Cedra. Yeah. So I got this in earlier today and I opened it up, sprayed it on. I've actually sprayed it on now like three or four times. <laughs> I've already made kind of a dent in the bottle. So yeah, still though, since I did just get this in today, it's more first impression than actual full on review. So we'll do what we always do. I'll show you the presentation and I'll break the fragrance down, let you know how it smells, let you know if you should check it out and all that good stuff. I mean, I did just have some great luck with Bois Arctique from Isi Miyake. So hopefully uh, this worked out well too. I'll let you know if it did. All right, friendos, let's kick it off with the presentation, shall we? So here you got the front of the box. You have the name of the fragrance, name of the house, size and concentration. It is an eau de toilette intense. On one side, you have a QR code, nothing on the other side or up top. On the back, you have your ingredient information and also this nice little infographic letting you know that the cap is 100% wood and the glass is 20% recycled. Then on the bottom, you'll find your batch code. Mine is 2089C9. And here we have the bottle. There's the nice wooden cap. It has uh, maybe a slightly sickly green coloration to the bottle and also the cap. But overall, I think it looks nice. On the bottom, you have your badge code and it is etched into the glass and the cap does click into place like always. I do like the wooden cap. I think it's kind of cool. All right, let's waste a couple sprays on the old tester strip so you guys can check out the atomizer. But this is a little bit of a spoiler. The atomizer is the exact same as all of these low DC fragrances. So if you have one, that's how good this one works. Anyway, here we go. Wow. As I said, had a lot of luck with my last Isimiyake pickup. The last one was kind of a kind of a mix. You know, it was like a cool weather fragrance with bits of warm weather fragrance interspersed. The opening was very fresh and then as it dried down, it became more of a cool weather scent is what I mean to say. This one, well, how is it? Hmm. Well, when I very first sprayed it on, it was the biggest blast of rubbing alcohol from any fragrance that I've gotten in the past few years, I would say. Yeah, I sprayed it on, you know, let it settle for a second. And then I went in and got a smell and boom, I just like assaulted my nose. I could feel the fumes from the alcohol shooting up my nasal cavity and down into my throat. That's how it felt. So I wasn't a big fan, didn't like that very much. Not very pleasant, gotta say. And later on, I had my wife spray it on and had her check out the opening, exact same thing happened. Now, truthfully, I have already sprayed this on probably five different times. Like I said, you can see I've already put a dent in the bottle here, a, a decent dent, sizable dent actually. And on subsequent wearings of the fragrance, it didn't come across quite as alcoholy. So you could write that off maybe and say, well, yeah, the first few times that you spray it on, it's like that. And then it, it slowly settles down and stops being like that. The more times that you spray it on, that's possible. But I just wanted you guys to know the first time that I wore it and also when I made my wife wear it, same thing happened to both of us. So that's all fine and dandy, but outside of that, how does it smell? Well, when you first spray it on, it's like a very light, semi-peppery, isoe super smelling cedar. That's how it comes across. Cardamom is the official top note. It's a very fresh, uh, slightly green take on cardamom. You're not gonna find any of that spicy sweetness here at all, period. And as I said, to me, it comes across more peppery than a more typical cardamom note that you'll find in designer fragrances. It's got a very faint, marine accord going on in the background of the fragrance never becomes a focal point. It's just kind of lurking there like a small spritz of salty water. It's faintly mineralic. And then the cedar here is not really like a, a full bore cedar note. It's more of a, a light iso -E super really is the best way to describe it. As you head through into the dry down, you do pick up 
a faint little touch of vetiver in there that kind of melts together with that cedar, icy, super peppery kind of woodiness. And it becomes mainly just a, a simple woody scent. And simple is the name of the game with this one. There's not a ton going on. You're not gonna pick up all kinds of interesting nuances happening from the opening into the mid into the dry down. There's a change from the open to the dry down, sure, but this still maintains its simplicity the whole way through. And ultimately to me, you could almost think of this as a fragrance that has taken the eccentric molecules approach to fragrances. That's what this comes across as. Like the type of scent that you would spray on if you didn't really wanna wear a scent that day. It's kind of something like that. So when you don't want something that's maybe loud or complex or attention grabbing, you just want something that's gonna sit on you like a second skin, that type of fragrance where as you move around, people might catch a faint little whiff of a, a slight fresh woody scent profile. That's when you would wear this. Because I gotta say, performance wise, there's not a whole lot of it, not really. When you first spray it on even, it, it comes across soft, fairly light. Again, reminiscent of some of the eccentric molecules fragrances where you spray them on and some people, you know, go in for a whiff and they think to themselves, is it really there? Do I have COVID? Like I can't smell very much going on here. And that's why I've gone through this much in one day because you just reapply and reapply and reapply and reapply. It's still there. It stays on your skin for probably, you know, five hours or so, but it's so light after the initial opening that it, it's just wafts that you get just little, little whispers of the fragrance coming through. So for some people, that'll be great. People that want something, as I said before, that's sitting on you kind of like a second skin, a soft, fresh, pleasant smelling woody scent that doesn't have too much going on. So for some people, that's gonna be great. People that maybe wanna change a pace fragrance, people that wanna take a day off, but still wanna have the ritual of spraying something on. You know, you could wear something like this that barely sits on you there and, and people maybe catch a faint hint of it now and again. Or maybe somebody that wants it for layering purposes, you could use this and mix it together with other things and see what you can come up with that might smell really nice. I can tell you straight up, my wife's words were, this is a waste of money. She thought it was just pointless because she could barely pick it up off me, barely pick it up off herself, and she didn't really see the, the point in buying it. And so I'm sort of somewhere in the middle where I see the utility to it, where some people could use it and enjoy it, and I could potentially use it now and again, maybe, and enjoy it. But at the same time, I think to myself, is that worth what I paid for it? Uh, for me, no, no, it sure isn't. The fragrance itself smells pleasant to me when I pick it up. It's nice, it's easy to wear. Like I said, simplistic, fresh, slightly refreshing. In the top, there's almost like this misting of citrus, like just a little bottle and they mist a little citrus over top that Isoe Super and that hint of cardamom slash peppery spice that it has. But at the end of the day, is that worth picking up at full retail? Something that's gonna give you just a skin scent that smells pleasant and refreshing, but not much else. And again, for me, no. No, it isn't. That's unfortunate, but that's how I feel here. It's almost like this is Isi Miyake's Eccentric Molecules release or something. In terms of when you would use the fragrance, more of a daytime scent than an evening scent, obviously. And uh, I'd say it's more spring and summertime, I guess. Unless you wanna layer it with something else and then just use it whenever you want, who cares? So obviously you can tell I'm a little bit disappointed with this one. I guess to be fair to Isi Miyake, they are doing something a little bit different here. This doesn't smell similar to any of the other designer releases that have been coming out here over the past few years. So it's definitely something different. They're, they're trying something new. And for what it's worth, I appreciate that. That's cool. I, I like to see brands trying something new, even if maybe it doesn't work. But this is like further ammunition for me to say that EC Miyake does better cool weather fragrances than warm weather fragrances at this point. It's gotten to where low DC releases, sure, I'll check them out, but am I really having super high expectations for them? Not really. Nui DC releases, do I have high expectations for those? Oh yeah. 
even though it doesn't work for me that well because I can't really think of any situations where I'd want to wear this over something else that already exists. And the fact that if I did, I would go through this bottle in one season. It may work for some of you guys out there that are looking for something that is classy, that's refreshing, and that sits softly on your skin with a, a little woody undertone. So there we go, guys, the new low DC for me. Don't think you should buy this at full retail. I would wait definitely until it hits discounters. Pick it up then, unless you're able to test it in a store and you decide then and there, yeah, I really want this. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later. Thank you.